Hey everyone, Chief Meteorologist Matt Hines here, and you may have noticed when you've been opening up your first alert Central Texas weather app, there have been some changes. So we wanted to make a quick video here and let you know what some of those changes are. Now when you open up your app, of course our videos are right here and your forecast, radar, everything you need to have right there. But if you click where those three lines are in the top left hand corner, this is going to bring up a menu and you're always going to want to have this on follow me. So wherever you are, it will give you alerts for your location. And we're not always in Central Texas, so you want to have that selected. Now, if you just want to have a specific city, you can do that as well. First alert 25 alerts. That does not need to look like that. That needs to be in the on position. If you don't have that on, nothing else will work. Then weather alert types. You want to click on that and you can go through here now and pick what kind of alerts you want to know about. So I probably want to know if lightning's in my area, so I'll turn that one on. Precipitation, flooding, yes, wind, winter weather, heat related weather. Now, do I want marine weather? If I'm down at the coast, maybe. But if I'm up here in Central Texas, I may not want that one on, so I'll turn that one off. And then there's this other category, which goes through some uh, other type warnings, like dust storm warnings and everything like that. So when you're traveling, you may not be here in Central Texas, but when you're traveling, you can have that always with you and be prepared. And then you can also select your alert tones that you want to have on. So you have your sounds in the on position here. A lot of people use just some of the regular sounds on those alert tones. You may use that one right there. One of my personal favorites for severe weather though. Maybe you have a siren go off on your phone. Whatever you want to have, you can have right there. So you can even select what kind of sound you want. Precipitation alerts, lightning alerts, it's all right there. So some new things in there. It's really allowing you to specify what you want to be notified about, and we think that's the first alert advantage.